Hey everybody, David from G4 Guitar Schools here with another video lesson. And in this lesson today we're going to be looking at how to play an E7 or an E dominant 7 chord arpeggio. So an E7 dominant. <clears throat> hey everybody, this is David from G4 Guitar Schools with another video lesson. And in today's lesson we're going to be taking a look at how to play an E7 or an E dominant 7. The name is the same thing. But Hey everybody, this is David from G4 Guitar Schools and in this lesson today we're going to be taking a look at how to play an E7 melodic arpeggio down here in the open position. So um, to play this, play this arpeggio properly we first need to look at the chord, E7 chord. So if you haven't learned the E7 chord yet, take a look at that and then we'll then come back to this lesson and we can review it from there. For those that know the E7 chord, let's take a look at the arpeggio. So, we're going to pick each note individually, as this is a melodic arpeggio, and we start with the open number 6 string, which is the root of E. We play that note once, come up to the 4th fret on E string with our 4th finger. Crossing over to the 5th string, we play with our 2nd finger here on the 2nd fret of the 5th string. So we have... again... So the notes we're playing so far of as E, G sharp, and B. Then we cross over to the next string, we play an open string, D. Okay, D, that's the note that makes the E7 chord an E7 chord. Okay, the D. So we have. And then we put our first finger, oh, sorry, our second finger back onto the second fret of the fourth string for the note of E. And that completes the first octave. So it's not a bad idea actually when we're learning arpeggios and scales to break them down into single octaves so we can really understand what's going on. So let's review that again. Open E string, 4th finger 4th fret E string, 2nd finger 2nd fret 5th string, open 4th string, and then 2nd finger 2nd fret 4th string. Okay. Moving on, we would then take our 1st finger and play the 1st fret of the 3rd string. We then play the open second string. Our third finger comes on and plays the third fret on the second string. And that's our D note again. That's again that seven note of the E7 chord. And we finish that with the open E string. So let's take a look at that second octave again. Starting here from the second fret fourth string. We cross over to the third string with our first finger on the first fret. Open second string. 3rd finger, 3rd fret, 2nd string, and then following up with the open E to complete it. Okay, So all together, and that's your E7 melodic arpeggio.